Hey guys, it's Miss Prince Mars. So today, I sound a little sick because I'm getting over some allergy funk that I've had. But I'm going on an adventure today and I'm gonna vlog it and take you with me because it's something that I'm interested in and I know some friends have been interested in. And um, basically, I mean, to put it in blank terms, I'm gonna get my canines tipped, kind of like vampire teeth a little bit. I'm not going because I like vampire teeth, uh, and I'll get into why I'm getting bonding on my teeth and why I need it in a second, but basically why I'm getting my canines tipped is just because, I mean, I want to just, that's, that part is more of like, well, I'm paying the money to have my teeth messed with. I'm going to just do something fun, I guess. I can always get it shaved down later. It's, it's fine. It's temporary. It's not permanent. And now, why I'm getting it done is because, as you can see, I have a lot of space in my first front four teeth. And that is because I got my braces off prematurely. And I didn't get my braces off because it was a good thing. I got my braces off because it was a bad thing. I had a really bad orthodontist, and I can make a separate video talking about why they were so bad and why I hated them so much and why I'm really upset that I went with them. But I mean, I was young and I didn't really know. So I was kind of going off a friend's recommendation that I trusted and then it just was a really bad experience. But I got my braces off prematurely because the, the guy who owned the place, one of the days was cussing at me and calling me names and yelling at me in the office because I cried. Um, and I was, I was 17, no, I was 18, I was 18, and I'm not good with mouth pain, and one of my brackets broke, and they had to take the wire out, glue the bracket back down, and then put the wire back in, and that hurts a lot, if you have braces, you understand, like, that's the thickest wire, I was on, like, the last wire, and it hurts a lot, and I wasn't, like, boo-hoo crying, it was, like, tears rolling down, and crying and I guess that really upset the lady who was working on me she didn't say anything she just got up left and the next thing I knew the guy came back and he started yelling at me he's saying you know you need to get over yourself you need to stop abusing my staff you need to get your shit together and stop acting like a fucking baby and I'm just sitting in the chair like uh, like, I'm just sitting there because I have, like, my mouth, it's like a wire hanging out of my mouth. She didn't finish. And I'm not, like, I'm just, like, a little crying. But my dad, my dad actually was there with me that day. So, uh, he ended up hearing and he ran in there and yelled at him and was just like, take her braces off now. So I got my braces off that day and it was a little premature. And that's why I have some spacing that personally I've always been really not confident about and really unhappy with so um now fast forward and kind of rewind a few months ago my bottom teeth so my bottom teeth were straight I wore my retainer every day and my bottom teeth still shifted and it drives me insane so my bottom teeth has shifted and I told myself okay I was gonna get braces again so I had spent the beginning of my summer going to like five different orthodontists doing consultations and getting prices because I was like okay I'm gonna get braces again it's gonna suck but at least you know it'll be my money and I'll put it towards someone that I like and that I think is a better fit for me but what I learned was that because they put like my top teeth through so much trauma um, something that can happen when you have braces is that um, when your teeth when your teeth go through a lot of trauma your body does a weird thing where your body is basically like oh this really hurts let's get rid of it so basically my um, my body started to absorb the roots of these four teeth uh, back into my body so basically what happens is your body will absorb all the root and then your teeth will just fall out and that is kind of like your body's way to 
fix a problem if there's like a lot of pain and so i had i had a it's what is, what is it called it's called an extender i had an extender on the top and the bottom jaw and that's where you manually crank it like every day and it widened your jaw which honestly is manually breaking your jaw over time so like that was a lot of trauma and then they still pulled teeth um they pulled teeth in the front so i'm missing actually a tooth between here and my canine and that's kind of why i have already the more prominent canines a little bit because they did pull them forward um so because i have that resorption though of my roots three out of the five orthodontists did suggest against getting braces again because I would have to be pulling these teeth together. It would put them through some more trauma and then I risk losing more of my root. And I'm already about at, a fi at about 50%. And there are people who have less than that and their teeth are fine, but that just scared the crap out of me. I was like, oh my God, I could, my teeth could fall out, you know? I'm young now, but when I get older, my teeth health may decline more my gums may not be as strong in the future where as they are now and I don't want my teeth to fall out then so I don't know I thought this was the best option to stay away from braces and I had been suggested to get bonding put on um, these teeth to kind of close the gaps make them look normal because i had been told that these teeth are actually I have very small whatever I don't know the name of these teeth but they, I've been told that they're pretty small compared to, I guess, most other people. I have a small mouth in general, so I guess it kind of works out that way. But I've been told that they're pretty small and that I could add to them and the ones beside them, and it would look normal. And then I could get a permanent retainer, which is what I really want to get. Because if I get that permanent retainer, then my teeth won't move, and I don't have to worry about the shifting that has happened on the bottom because if it happens on the top I will lose my mind because my teeth will be crooked on the top and I'll see it all the time at least my bottom teeth like I feel it every day but I don't see it all the time so it's not as detrimental to my like, mental it's not affecting my emotional state every day like the, my top teeth would so basically I'm getting bonding to close the gaps and then so I can get a permanent retainer put on so that my teeth won't move. And that's basically the gist of why I'm doing this. And then I can't get braces again. So that's also why I'm doing it. Now why I'm getting my teeth, why I'm getting my teeth tipped is really, there's no, no actual reason for that part though. That, that is fully just, I wanted to do something different and it sounded kind of fun. So that part is not medically related in any way but you know just to give you some insight that's why I'm doing it so I'm at the dentist now and I'm gonna go inside and sign in and then hopefully we'll get started I don't know if it's gonna hurt I don't know what bonding feels like but <laughs> we'll find out you got your before yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna roughen this surface. Try to take off a little bit of the stain too. So my first tooth is done. Honestly, it's kind of hard to remember what it looked like before. So I did have space on this side, so it is more closed. Yeah.
Oh my god, it's so big right now. So, we're done with this tooth. It didn't need much, there wasn't much space. This is the one that has a lot of space, uh, and it looks silly right now. But they just finished putting this stuff on, but they haven't shaved it down at all, so it'll change. But, I mean, it already looks so much different to me, especially this side. <laughs> Patients recover faster. Studies conducted in my apartment show the teeth to make people happy. Bringing jowls, particularly striking effect. Charging patients. Hey guys, I am home and I have my little baby fangs. And to me, they are so cute. And definitely, this is kind of the subtle that I wanted them to be. I wanted them to be, I mean, they're definitely little fangs, but I didn't want them to be in your face, super big costumey. A lot of people were really surprised because they were like, oh, those are actually really cute. I thought you were gonna get something really crazy. And no, I didn't want like costume looking things. I wanted something that was passable for natural. So these are definitely really cute and little. And when I smile, you can definitely see them and you could almost yeah, mistake them for being natural or just my canines. So, I apologize for uh, bad lighting. I'm just upstairs and trying to finish this video to get it up to you guys. But, initial reaction is that everything went pretty great. I had some discomfort when she was doing the bonding between some of the teeth. Just because they put like a little metal, not metal, is a plastic retainer almost in between your teeth to kind of help shape the bonding material that they put on and she just kind of pushed it up really high into the gum so it was almost like you were kind of flossing really high and just holding the floss up there so it was just kind of pressure uncomfortable not really pain the most i got was actually the most pain that there was was the uh the little gauze roll up here it was like drying my gums out and then making them raw really that was like the only pain there wasn't really any other type of pain there was discomfort but that's fine I mean it was kind of as expected and then immediately afterwards I mean my teeth don't feel any different my canines are more forward than a normal person's teeth because normally you have another tooth in between uh, yours I don't know the numbers normally I have a eight and nine number tooth but those got taken out when I had braces so these teeth actually were normally back further but they were pulled up so that's kind of why I'm used to my canines being a little more forward than most other people so I think it kind of I was already mentally kind of prepared to have little fangs <laughs> in a way like it's not uncomfortable I definitely got them put on didn't really feel uncomfortable. I was worried it was gonna like affect speech and I went to work right afterwards and it wasn't an issue. 
and I've been snacking and eating. I inserted a clip earlier that I was eating some Zaxby's and I haven't had issues eating. I haven't had issues drinking. My bite is still fine. Everything feels great. So, I mean, I haven't had any issues and they're cute and I'm really glad that I did it because they also closed up all the space and I'll go back in two weeks to get my permanent retainer put on and then I will be set and my teeth will be fine and then I'm gonna live with these teeth for about two weeks. If I wanna do any adjustments, it's included when I go back. If I wanna like make them a little longer, I don't plan on it, but if I wanted to make them a little longer or maybe there's like some roughness that I want smoothed out or something, I can get that done. And they told me that that's not an extra cost. And if cost is what you're curious about, it is 172 per tooth and that is before insurance. They did submit everything to insurance and hopefully insurance will pay some of it. That would be fantastic because if insurance paid some of it, then it's only costing me $200. Otherwise I have to pay the difference when I go back, which I kind of planned on insurance not paying any of it. So I'm not gonna be super upset if I go back and I have to pay more, so that's fine. But yeah, not too bad. I got four teeth done, so it was more for me if you just are going to get fangs, it will probably be a lot cheaper for you because you're just getting two teeth. And now, since my canines were more pronounced, I guess you could say, they didn't actually add that much bonding onto my teeth, which means them popping off is going to be less prone to happen. And there is a possibility whenever you get bonding that it can come off and that you can pop it off. You just have to be careful and take care of them not bite into corn or apples, which fortunately I don't ever have that issue because I don't eat those things. But it's just something to keep in mind that when you get something like this, it is permanent as long as you take care of it. And these are not veneers, this is bonding. Veneers are more invasive. Veneers, you have to shave down a lot of your tooth and then you put like a cap over it, a veneer cap. This is bonding, they're just kind of adding almost like I don't know the word for it, but basically bonding is, they use the stuff that they fill cavities with and they put it on your teeth to shape it and fill in holes and things like that. So that's what bonding is. And then if you were to get veneers, it's a lot more invasive. And then after you get veneers, you have to have veneers for like the rest of your life. You can't uh, not have something on top of your tooth because your tooth would, would have to be so ground down to fit that veneer on and I didn't want to have that liability. Like if I wanted to take these off and get them ground down and then have normal teeth, I have that option if I want to go back to it. Whereas veneers, you don't have that option and veneers are also really expensive. Like I was probably a thousand dollars a tooth if I was to get veneers. So I didn't have that on my budget. I wanted to do this to avoid braces to begin with and braces were already expensive. So yeah. So yeah, find a dentist that you really like, go get a consultation because you do need to have like a good bite. Your teeth need to be in line enough to get it done and then so that you won't have issues and your it won't pop off. So as long as you go and talk to a dentist, I don't see the issue with it and you can get things like mine. But yeah. Thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.